So y'all, I just left a funeral and I don't like going to funerals because I just don't. Every time I go to a funeral, I think about when my mama pa passed away and I think about how we couldn't give her a funeral because it was right in the midst of COVID, like when for COVID first uh, broke out or whatever and we had to do the graveside thing or whatever. But anyways, it just makes me think about my mom uh when i go to funerals but i want to support my sister so i went to her grandmother's funeral today and anytime you go to the funeral it makes you reflect on your own life it makes you reflect on a lot of things in life and when you're sitting there and you're you're hearing like all of the accomplishments that um of course when a when it's an older person that has passed away they have more they've done more in life they've accomplished more so but you're sitting there and you're thinking about all the things that they accomplished and all the good things that they've done because of course they're not going to talk about the bad things because it's not the time for that but i'm just sitting there thinking about you know when i pass away like what would people say about me like um you know our ultimate goal as a christian or as a believer in jesus christ the lord we aim to want to see god in the end we aim to want to make it to heaven like that's the that's the goal but not only that because i was sitting there i'm like you know i was just so emotional on the inside and i was just like lord I want to make it in like I want to hear you say well done my good and faithful servant I want to make it in but not only that I want to leave an impact on you know the people around me like the people I've come in contact with like I want to be able to um you know pour out my gift on uh the people around me I want to be obedient to God and I want to uh fulfill my purpose that's what i'm trying to say i want to fulfill my purpose like i don't just want to be here so when i'm sitting there i'm like what have you done what are you doing like if you die today have you fulfilled your purpose you know because the truth is everybody is gonna die all of us gonna die i'm just sitting there looking at my sister and i'm thinking about my uh my children and my siblings i'm like man one day all of us are gonna be gone one day i'm gonna lose my sisters i'm gonna lose my brothers i'm gonna lose you know my children you know everybody around me one day is gonna go one day i'm gonna lose them and i'm just like you know but what did we do here like what do we do for the people around us like how do we serve god here you know it's more than just going to church it's more than just singing on the praise scene singing in the choir it's more than that like how did we impact the people around us because when when you know my funeral come like what would the people say about me like did they say man you know she was a great person like what would they say about me and and not have to lie about it and that was my thing like lord i want to fulfill my purpose like i want to make it to heaven like i want to see you in the end but most most importantly i want to fulfill my purpose here on earth i want to do good to those around me i want to pour my gifts out to the people around me because i know that i can't live forever i know that one day i'm going to be gone you know and i, I as i get older because i have a birthday on tomorrow but as I get older, I think about, you know, everything that I'm doing. And then I'm like, I'm getting older. I got to do these things. I can't just keep talking about the things that I want to do. Talking about the good things that I want to do, you know, around here. And even with that, I can't look at what, you know, who's not supporting me, who don't believe in me, who's not with me. You know what I'm saying? Who don't share my stuff? Who don't like my stuff? I can't worry about all those things. I got to keep going forth with the things that god is putting on my heart to do i got to keep going forth with the things that god is calling me to do and i got to keep going forth and loving the people around me serving the people around me doing good things like going out um you know going beyond and beyond beyond and above going beyond and above to do the things that i need to do for the people around me and you know i was thinking about that the other day you know when i was at work you know sometimes you want to be short with people because you're just like look this is not the day but sometimes we do have to go above and beyond to make an impact on the people around us you know because we never know what people are going through and we never know you know what we gonna have to go through and we want somebody to be there for us but i was thinking about that today so i just wanted to jump on and do this video but it just really touched my heart anytime some pa someone passes away in life they pass away it's to show us what we are in life like where am i 
you know, what what can I do now? Because they are gone. You know, we're just grieving them, but they're gone. They lived their life. They ran this race. Now we have to run this race because we don't know when our last moment is going to be. We just don't know. Accidents happen. All kind of things are happening to people all different ages. We have to know that we are in the will of God. And not only that, we got to know that we're doing it what God is calling us to do. I can't look at nobody else and what they're doing. I can't just focus on somebody else and what somebody else God is call, call, calling someone else to do. I have to look at what God is calling Pearl to do. And I have to stay focused on that because I truly want to serve the Lord. And I truly want the Lord to be pleased with the things that I'm doing. I don't want to just do things because it's what I want to do and what I desire to do. But I want to do the things that please the Lord especially because I'm a single woman especially because I have the time to do it you know I might not always have the resources you know sometimes we look at what we don't have and we we stop and you know we stay still because we feel like we don't have it but if we really truly trust the Lord we know that the Lord is going to give us everything we need to run this race everything we need to fulfill the purpose that he put out in front of us we just have to be willing to do it and and and, and do it wholeheartedly you know what I'm saying I do everything that I do, you know, I do it, you know, through the Lord, in the Lord, for the Lord, you know, because I want people to see the glory of the Lord in my life, you know, so I don't mean to get all emotional, but you know, it's something to think about in this hour, you know, like this year's 2024, like it's something to think about. Where am I in the Lord? Am I in the Lord? Do I am I do I have a relationship with the Lord? Can I hear the Lord speak? It was something that the preacher was saying today at the uh, funeral. Can you hear the Lord? Like, you know, some of us can't hear the Lord. We're not in a position. Our lifestyles is, is so uh, messed up that we can't hear the Lord. And we need to hear the Lord in this hour about our lives. And today I believe that I heard the Lord like it's some uh, it's some more things that i need to do it's some more things that i need to accomplish my race is not finished yet you know some people you know their lives are cut short they don't get a chance to complete the mission but i want to complete the mission in the name of jesus so anyways you know i just want to share that today you know, and I hope that you start to reflect on your own life and where you are, you know, and stop worrying about the people around us and what they're doing, but just for your own self, you know, because you're going to have to stand before the Lord. You're going to have to stand in front of the Lord and be judged, you know? And so, uh, yeah, the, this is, this is, this is something that really, you know, woke me up today, you know, and I don't know. Y'all leave in the comments, whatever. Just send me some encouraging words in the comments because we all need to be encouraged to keep going. Don't give up. Keep going. Don't give up. Keep going.